Ere we are going to look at a theme that says knowing who God is. Knowing who God is. We have all been reading the Bible. We have heard a lot of people talk about God. It is not the first time that you are going to, to hear what God is. Or who God is. But today, I believe there is a very different revelation as pertains what we are going to learn today. Okwatagana kwechi chetugenda okuiga kolero. Excuse me. Kamasomoko. If we are to be disciples of God, or disciples of Jesus, we need to know the person we are serving. Tutekwa okumanya omuntu gwetu weleza. Yes, according to the Bible, we know God is the creator. Some other versions say he's the savior. Others say he's our redeemer. Others say he's our provider. He is our protector. They also say he's a mighty man. Others say he is the Lord of Lords. Others say he is the King of Kings. Some others say he is holy. Others say he is righteous. Others say he is faithful. When you read the Bible, and when you make research, you find that God is known by many, many words. We know him by his deeds. We know him by his presence. We know him by where we have come from. So today we want to look at one particular part of him. What is he? Yani. If you are to really find out what he is, you need a lot of lessons about discipleship. Just, we cannot accomplish what he is in just one hour. But as for today, we shall try to see how to put it into summary. Knowing who God is. Ask your neighbor, who is God? Who is God? And under that we are going to look at God, the creator, and ourselves. God, the creator, and ourselves. Let us first read from Genesis. Genesis. Genesis chapter 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. Genesis chapter 1. Verse 1. From here, we, we are going to look at the story of creation. But our main theme is going to come from these three, from 26 to 28. Let, let us read. God said, let us, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Make mankind in our image after our likeness and let them have complete authority over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the tame beasts, and over all the earth and over everything that creeps 
Upon the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image and likeness of God, he created him. Male and female. He created them. 28. And God blessed them. And say to them, be, pro be fruitful. Multiply. And fill the earth. And subdue it. Using all its vast resources. In the service of God. And man. And have dominion. Over the fish. Of the sea. The birds of the air. And over every, every living creature. That moves upon upon the earth. Praise be to God. We shall go slowly by slowly and I would request that we go back to verse, verse 126. Here we are looking at the story of creation. And from what we have read there is a statement that says let us make man. Let us make man in our own image. You find that this statement is in plural. For those, for those of you who are teachers, we always have things in singular and things in plural form. We always tell the children that singular means one. And plural means many. So if we have boy, boy is in singular form. And for plural form, we always have boys. So in this statement, God said that let, let us make man in our own image. It means he was not one. There were very many. And according to this Bible, we have seen that we, in the brackets we have the father, we have the Son and the Holy Spirit and they decided to make man. Why is it that he did not sit alone? And why man? When you read from the first chapter, they did not say that let us make plants. Let us make the, the animals. They said, let us make man. That means there is something special about man. And they sat together. Sitting together means that God works in one. There is unity when God is working. And because he made us in unison, because he made us using his unison, amen, amen. That means that he wants us to work in unison just like him. Amen. As disciples of Jesus, as servants of God, God requires to move or work in unison just as the way he created us. He also continued and he said that 
Nti ya tukola mumfana na yeye. In his own likeness. Mungeri yenga yebwari. Mungeri yenga yebwari ranga bwayagala. As how he is and how he loves. Praise God. Mukama yeba zivwe. That also shows that we are so special. Katie chini no chitu la ganti tuliba njia ulo. Children of God, man is so special. Abana ba katondo muntu ori wanja ulo nyio. And because we are so special. Oruo kubanga tuliba njia ulo. God was making us in unison to show his majesty. Amen. 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 And because of that, he, accept, he expects us to work whatever we work in that majesty, in that unison, in that mighty, because there is a purpose as to why he created us. Praise be to God. I would like to tell you that man is a very special creature. We should always realize that. We should always speak that to, our, to ourselves. Whatever situations we go through, whatever words that we hear around, whatever work that we are supposed to do, in every task that we are assigned to do, we should always know that we are very peculiar people. Let us read from Job. Our pastor always says, put a finger there. So we are looking at Job. Thirty-three, four. Praise be to God. It is the spirit of God that made me. Which has stirred me up. And the breath of the Almighty that gives me life which inspires me. Amen. 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 The Bible has said Bible that it is the spirit that made me. And that the breath I have was made by the spirit. Uh, and because of that, that he keeps inspiring me. Disciple. Servant of God. If we are really made by God. If he really made us in his own image. If he really made us in his own likeness. Let us always be inspired. However hard the situation may be. However difficult things may be. Let us always remember. Remember, let us always go back to the original creation of man and get to know that we are very, very special people. Praise be to God. We have come from looking at making mankind in our own image. We have seen that these were three people in unison. Why so? Because we are very special people. And we are looking at the spirit in, in Job, taking its part in creation. Let us look at Colossians. Colossians 1, 16. Colossians 1, 16. I'm sorry, my voice may not be very clear. I've been battling the flu for the whole week. Amen. Amen. So we are looking at Colossians 1.16. Amen. For it was in him that all things were created. In heaven and on earth. Things seen 
and things unseen. Whether thrones, dominions, rulers, or authorities. All things were created and exist through him. By his service, intervention, and in him, and for him, that statement amused me so much. Through him, and for him, and this one says, in him, and for him, that means that I was created for him, in him and for him, as a servant of God, does that show any responsibility in whatever you're doing? Are you doing everything following that line? You were created in him and for him. Whatever is happening, give a deaf ear. You were, you were created in him and for him. Arise up. Inspire yourself and tell yourself no matter what is happening, no matter what is going on, a lot is being said in the world. There are wars. We, 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 we find that commodities, items have hiked in prices. When you move around town, you'll find that people are moving up and down. But business is not moving on. Good thing I'm a teacher. You call parents. You tell them people you have a balance that you need to pay. And they tell you money is Days. They tell you things are not easy. When you look, you, you look at the ministries, you find that things are not moving on well. But what should we do? In these discipleship classes, we have to inspire ourselves. We have to go back to our original creation and themes. we remember that we are created in him and for him we are very kurure. special people he made us in his own image if he is a failure we are also failure if he is a powerful man then we are also powerful he created us in his own liking that means he has a very big plan for us. His plans are so good for us. As servants of God, please don't despair. Please don't despair. One thing we have to do is that we should come back to the original creation and we understand that we are disciples of God. We are servants of God. And that we have a duty to do. What is the main duty? To proclaim his good news. So that everyone gets to know of that God that made us in his own image. He made us in his own image so that we may not perish. He made us in, in his own image so that we may help him to do his work. We are co-creators with him. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. As we have been telling you about who God is, we have seen many names and many descriptions of God. We also want to see that God is also mighty. God is called the Almighty. If he is the Almighty, then let us 
raise our hope. And get to know that the one who created us is the Almighty. Then we shall also be be conquerors of situations. Praise, Praise be to God. God. Praise be to God. If he created us in his own image, then we have to reflect that image in us. Let's go back to Genesis 1.27. Genesis 1.27. Praise be to God. So God created man in his own image. In the image and likeness of God. He created him. Male and female. And he created them. We always think about ourselves as very weak people. Especially when you're going through situations. My dear, this is a lie. Your tomorrow is always bigger than your today. You may look around and look at five years back where you have come from. Is it the same way that you are today? That's an allusion that there is always a step ahead each day that you move. And what shows us that we are moving forward by what God is doing in our lives. Maybe we would have been better the past years. And as for now, things have changed. It is okay. There would be a reason as to why God has done it that way. Just remember that we were made in his own image. And there is a purpose as to why we are created. We have been told that God is the Almighty. Brothers and sisters, we really have to serve God knowing the person who we are serving. We should use the authority. We should use the, 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 the mightiness. That was given to us in the story of creation as servants of God. During these discipleship classes, we are always equipped on how to serve as disciples. So even today, we are looking at who God is. Who is our God? Who is that person we are serving? And if we come to learn who he is, we have said we become co-creators. Because he sat down and decided to make us in his own likeness. If we are really doing what he said, he, 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 he expects of us, it means we have some things that we have to put on our fingertips. What are those things? We should try to see that we change the people around us. We should try to see that we change the people around us. Not by giving them money. Not by giving them material things. But we should always stand in the place, in the position that we are created in. And we make a difference. For example, here in our church, there are a lot of things that are happening as a servant of God. What have you done? We have always been praying for the church to be built. We have always solicited for money. We always want to see our pastors move from one level to another. Because we know that as they move, we also move just like them. So, servant of God, what has been your 
your part as a co-creator. What have you done as a servant of God, as one who has made in his own image, as one who has made in his own likeness? What have you done? Have you decided to degrade others? Have you decided to, decided to sit down and talk about others? Have you decided to, decided to sit down and see things move the, the negative side? Or have you woken up and you take it as your own responsibility? And in the spiritual world, you sit down and you're like, there is something that is moving on well. And I think I should stand up and, and fast. I, I think I should stand up and, and pray with, with, with maybe the pastors. Maybe I should intercede for the singers. Maybe I should intercede for, for the number of people in the church that is decreasing every other day. Maybe for the people who are not working in the church. As a co-creator, what have you done? Brothers and sisters, let us go back to the theme that said he made us in his own image. Does God's image show, show any impact in your life? Does it reflect in your life? Has it done any good job in you? Oh, you're just drawing every other day saying, I am a mulokole, I am a mulokole, I am a mulokole. The neighbors, the neighbors say, oh, that one is a mulokole. Oh, that one is a mulokole. The people around you say, that one is a mulokole. But what happened? have you done that God who sat down and said, let us make mankind in our own image. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Let us also read from John 4, 24. Praise be to God. God is a spirit. A spiritual being. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Truth meaning reality. The tangible ones. So if God is really a spirit and the statement said that we were made in his own image then here we are. God does not have a physical image. That one we have to know. God is not seen in a physical image. God is a spirit just as the Bible has said. But because he is a spirit and he said he made us in his own image then what does that mean? That who are here on earth, we are here to represent him. He is in spirit. We are in body. But we are a full reflection of his image. Amen. Amen. We are his reflection in what we do. As the Bible has said Bible we that we are supposed to worship him in spirit and in truth. He is in spirit. For us, we are tangible. 
Kati atefe tuku watu kako tuliba mubili. As we are doing his works, we think of the two issues. We, we do it in spirit and in reality. But are these things we do? Brothers and sisters, we, we have to find that we reflect God's glory upon us. How is that glory go going to be seen upon us? In whatever you do, in whatever you touch, wherever you go, wherever you pass, as a parent, as a minister, as a church leader, maybe as a mother, in whatever we do, God's glory should always be reflected on us. Praise to God. We have to manage this world just as God planned it to be. He planned this world to be so peaceful. But are we peaceful? He planned this world to be a world where everybody would live and respect the love of God. But have we made it that world? Is the glory of God being reflected on us? Sisters and brothers, ask yourself, are we really the images of God? Dala, dala. Are we living in his own likeness? Amen. You, you, you should also look at things like the way we reason. Yes, the way we reason out issues. There are a lot of things that happen. Good or bad. But as someone who has made in God's image, how have you handled such issues? Do you take heed of yourself? And you remember that I was made in God's image. Do you really act according to such situations? Good or bad? For example, there is corruption going on. You are a servant of God. And money is scarce. And there is this, this deal that has come up. What do you have to do as a servant of God? So we always remember that we should always think about the way we were created. In our speech, do we speak like people who reflect the glory of God? Do we abuse others? Are we so arrogant? Do we put them down? You see people going through situations and you're like, no government for me God helped me you always take yourself to be so holy it is it, it may be something happened somewhere that one does not show the glory of God being reflected on us sisters and brothers let us remember that in verse 1 let us go to go back to Genesis 20, 20, 28. What we really have to do. Let's see what it says. Praise be to God. 28 says, And God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful. Multiply. And fill the earth. And subdue it. Using all its vast resources. In the service of God. And man. 
abantu. God made us in a special way. Katonda yatukola mongerie yenja He made us to be fruitful. Yatukola nga tuteko okubala. Child of God, are we being fr- fruitful? Achama zima tubala nga abana ba katonda. He told us to multiply. Yatugambo kwe kubisam. What has let us not multiply? Che chituganyo kwe kubisam. Have we filled the, the earth as he said? En situ jijuzi zanga bo yagamba. What has let us down? Maybe we have not realized our position. Do we ask ourselves such questions? The Bible has also said that we have to subdue the earth. Bible Amen. Amen. Subduing means that you have to make sure all those things bow down for you. Subduing means we are rulers. We have to rule over everything that God created. And in the story of creation, we have seen that there are those that are unseen and those that are also seen. So as we rule, we have to rule over all that, I, that is seen and that is unseen. Praise be to God. And on top of that, we have to have the determination. We have to be determined in whatever we do. As rulers, let us not be despaired. There is a lot. But my, my dear, my sister, my brother, keep it in your mind that we have to be determined always. Without determination, we shall not come to success. We shall not see the glory of God being reflected upon us. Like we have, like John 4:24 has said, it has said that God is in spirit. And just as you know, that we were created in God's image. We we are not in spirit, but whatever we do has got to be in both in both realms. In, in spirit and in truth and in reality. Because we know that we 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 are on the earth, and we are, we are reflecting God's God's image on the earth. We can never be totally. Just, just like God, because He is in spirit, He is so supreme. He is so above us. But what we should know is that we are reflecting Him on earth. Amen. 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 I want you to know that you have the ability. We have the ability that was made in us. He created and gave us the grace that when we put the determination in us, we change the character in us and we call upon the, 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 the likeness in which we are created. We, we can move mountains. We can cross the sea. We can subdue everything. And by doing so, God's image shall be reflected on earth. And by God's image being reflected on earth, then the glory of God shall all be all over us. Amen. If we know the person we are serving, then we shall also come back to our 
origin. Because when we get to know that we are made in God's image, then our character will change in different ways. How does it change? My sister and brother, love one another. Twagalane. Love one another. Twagalane. According to the Bible, Bible, we were given ten commandments. And they were summarized in two ways. The, the first five talks about loving God. And the other one talks about loving your neighbor. That means that the main theme in both of them is love. So what does that mean? That let us love one another. We shall not love the God we have not seen. When we are not loving the people that we are with. If we love one another, we shall then love God. And when we love God, then the glory of God shall be reflected on earth. Why the earth? Because this was the main scene where creation took place. He created everything on the earth. Not in heaven. And remember as the Bible has said. That he sat in three unison. Him the father. Him the son. And him the Holy Spirit. Why the three? We are very important people. We have not seen the angels sit down with him to create. And we have not been told that the that mankind was created in the angel's image. We have been told that we were created in God's image. What does that mean? That the full reflection of God should be just within us. By doing a lot of things, we have looked at loving one another. Then let us look at patience. Let us be patient. You are not going to drive a vehicle as soon as you want. You are not going to build a house like that of my pastor in just two months. You are not going to fly and go to America where you want to go just by sitting down and crying. There are a lot of things that you have to sit down and think about. As a servant of God, we have to sit down, put the full armor of God, think about your origin of creation, and make something about yourself. Learn the purpose as why you were created. And then day by day, and then you shall see the glory of God. Forgive, Forgive one another. Sonywa Muno. How often have you been wronged? Mirundi Emeka Jova Dengo Kosebwa. How often have people put you down? How have they looked down onto you? How many times have you done good things for people? And they have not appreciated. It is okay. It is okay. Those are people. Our God is another person. God remains good. God. And if at all you're going through such situations, just remember that God is always God. We are co-creators. And because we are co-creators, he will see us through. Forgive 
even when it is not necessary. Sonyiwa newe chiteta agisa. Even if it, it were you that was wronged first. Nebo banga gwegwe baso so kunyiza. Please stu, stoop yourself so low and say I'm sorry. We say ko wa anso gameni munango sasire on sonyiwe. There are many situations where we can also stand up and make an alarm. But because you remember that I am God's image, you stoop yourself so low, and you get to know that because I want God's glory to be reflected on me, let me come down. So please forgive one another. Be kind to everyone. Don't, your pu don't, don't put yourself so high. The Bible says that he lowers those he lowers those who put themselves up. And he, he always lifts those who humble themselves. We find that the reverse is true. You may think that you're an island, but it has never happened. We always need one another. As servants of God, we need one another. At least at one point in your life, you will need Esther in your life. Amen. At least at one point in your life, you will need some, some people around you. Don't you think you have got everything? Don't you think that you have the money? You have the good looks. God has done a lot of things Mukama for you. There is uh, a lot of big plans in your mind. Wali uwo binji vyo teka teka mungwe. And that you don't need anyone around you. Ngo uli atawete agamuntu yenna. My dear, that is wrong. Muganda wange au bawe rimba. Let us calm down. Leka tukakane. Let us remember that we were created in God's Leka image. Be kind to everyone. Even if you're wearing a, a, a very expensive perfume. Very expensive shoes. You got whatever you need. Remember that at one time, those people will be so precious to you. Praise, Praise be to God. God. And on top of that, remember we are looking at showing God's glory upon us. Be faithful. Please be faithful. Muganda wangebera mwesigwa. Our God is a faithful God. Katonda wafe katonda mwesigwa. We see this from the children of Israel. The children of Israel were chosen by God. Bali baronde wa katonda. God promised them a lot of things. Katonda nawa subi zevi ntubi. And they swore that they would also be faithful to him. Elana bone ba mwene ba musubi zanti ba genda kubera besigwa. But time came. Nechi sera chatuka. And the faithfulness dried up. They started trusting other small gods. They started looking at material things. And it is happening even today. Servants of God, I urge you. Please let us be faithful Le to God. Be and katonda. let us be faithful with one another. Be you know what fe. happens? Every time we are not faithful, God puts a situation Katonda because he wants to draw us back onto him. He always wants us to be in unison just as he created us. He may give you the money and then you forget the faithfulness dies. He may give you a wife and then you're like, now what else do I need on the no, I've got a very beautiful wife. I've always been longing for this one. Maybe it is a child. God has all, I, 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 I have 
have always been praying for a child. Now what else do I need? God wants us to remain faithful. Please be faithful. Don't forget the, the story of our creation. Every time we do away with the our, with, with the likeness of God, a situation will be created for you. Do you know the children of Israel? Do you know what they went through? God always put situations for them. Why did that happen? He always wanted to draw them near. At one time, he took, at one time, he even took them to Babylon. They became captives in Babylon. And he was, he was always looking at them. He knew what they were going through. But he wanted them to come back to him. As disciples of God, always remember that we were created in God's image. Amen. Amen. Do not criticize others. And don't criticize yourself too. Amen. Yeah, it works on both sides. You find the other one who does not criticize others. But he or she is busy criticizing himself. It is because I'm short. It is because I was born, I was born from a poor family. Because I did not go to school. It is because in our family this and this happened. You know in our village. You know we come from far from the city. You know they talk bad about our clan. That is criticizing yourself. So please God does not want us to criticize ourselves. Because every time you criticize Yourself, you're putting down the God's image in you. Amen. Same applies to other people. Do not criticize people. People have weaknesses. And there is no one who is perfect. The Bible says that the only person who is perfect is God. Even Jesus himself said it. That yes, we are children. That, that it is only God who is holy. So if we are to be servants of God, we have to remember that people have weaknesses. And because they, are weak, they have weaknesses, we have to help them to lift them up. Because it is the purpose we are created. It is the reason why we are servants of God. Yes, so Don't sit down and you pose around. Don't forgetting that you are putting God's image down. Praise be to God. We are co-creators. The Bible has said so. If we are co-creators, what have you created? Have you created hatred? Have you created love? Have you created hope? What have you done? Sisters and brothers, there is a lot that we need to look at. But one thing we need to know is that we were created in God's image. My time is running very fast. I started at nine and, and there are very few minutes remaining. But just to remind those who have just come, we have been looking at knowing who our God is. As servants of God, you cannot 
serve a person you don't know. And because you want to serve him, you have to be just like him. And the Bible has already told us that we are made in his own likeness. Amen. Amen. That means that there is a very big job that we were created for. And because of that, we have to know what 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 should be on our fingertips. You should also know that after being created in God's image, that we are worth God's blessings. Because the Bible has told us that God blessed them. Are we really blessed? What has hindered the blessings? Maybe there is something we have not done. The Bible has also told us to subdue. What has happened? And as we are completing, the Bible told us that that uh, we subdue it and using all its vast resources in the service of God and man. And have dominion over the fish. Dominion is having having authority over everything. Have we got the authority? Are we crying? There is something that we have not done. In the ministry, is there anything that is not going on well? Where have you thrown the dominion? If our vision bearer, Musumba Yahweh Ronald, has taken us through these discipleship classes. And maybe by grace of God, we have been, we, we have been uh, inspired by the Holy Spirit about something that's not going on well. What have we done? Have we sat and left everything to Musumba Yahweh? Have we sat and started talking? Telling people it is their own thing. Those belong to the pastor. It is their family. We hear them talk about it. We hear them talk about it. Whether they are to build, let them build. Whether the things are not moving on, yeah, we. Uh, is, is, is that what you're doing? Has the dominion been reflected onto you? Are we going to continue like this? If we give programs of the church. What have you done as a servant of God? What have you added onto this ministry? I for one am here to remind you today that know what your worth is in God. When we come back to that we shall reflect God's likeness on earth. And lastly, know your God personally. Because the Bible has told us that they sat down and created man. And when we read the story of creation, we saw that Adam was created alone. And Eve was also created alone. God had all the authority to sit down and he, he, he makes Adam and Eve at the same time. He would have said that in this garden of Eden, I want man and woman. There are yeah, today no Amen. Amen. But because we are so special, he sat down and took his time. And he said, let me make Adam. 
Let me put, he, put, put in him everything that I want him to serve him. Serve him. And he also made Eve in a special way. Remember these were made differently. Meaning that these are different graces. Each of us has got a particular duty to do. And because of that, know your God personally. Forget the God of your mother. The God of your father. The God of my sister. The God of my pastor. They will pray for me. Let me call some pastor. This and this is happening with me. Let me call them. If they have not announced fasting, I'm not going to fast. If they have not told us to go to church daily, therefore I'm not there. Let me wait for them. That time when they will announce, that is when I will go. I read the Bible only in church. When I'm at home, let it sit there. And, and in the morning on Sunday, that is when you get it. And you're like, oh, oh, there is a lot of dust. Uh, uh, they will see that I'm not reading this. You are not knowing your God personally. And because of that, we shall forget the dominion. We shall be different from what God purposed us for. We shall be we shall not see God's glory upon us. So, so sisters, sisters and brothers, today, today, I was told to remind you about knowing who your God is. Please know the person you're serving. We may have, we may have known him in different ways. But I'm very sure today there is another revelation of who God is that you have got. Let us go back. Let us remind ourselves if really ours may, if I was made in God's image has it been reflected on me? Have I been an example? Have I ruled over everything? Have I got the dominion? Is my life showing God's God's glory uh, 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 around the people? Is, is my family showing God's glory around the people I live with? Is my church showing God's glory around the people I live with? Are you doing God's purpose that even if he is to come back today, will you be able to go with him? Remember these Material things are so good. But we shall not take any with us. May God bless you.